a friend asked me to elaborate on something that i said to her i said that this life seems like a dream and i am able to drive that dream so she asked me to you know explain it further and elaborate on it a little bit so <clears throat> when i say that i am a dream this life is a dream and my dream or you can say it's my life my dream so this life seems like a dream and i am able to drive it what do i mean by that is that here we are talking about duality and the relationship so there is a subject there is an object and there is a relationship between so i am the subject for example and my life which i am calling as dream that is a subject and when i say i am looking at it from as a, from the subject's standpoint so i'm watching that dream i'm living that dream and what i meant by that is that there comes a time once you reach samadhi and you are enlightened self realized and or you know you have attained a really really deep meditation at that time what happens is that the subject and the object and the relationship is gone all three become one say for example if i am the subject and i am looking at a tree so a human is a subject and the tree is an object and that process of seeing that tree is what is connecting the subject and the object so when you are living in now in the 100% that you are alive your 100% conscious at that time when you look at tree or you look, whether you look at your beloved or you look at a child a small child or you look at a flower or you look at anything you are so alive and you are so conscious that you are not there anymore you know your mind is not there your ego is not there your identities are not there your filters that your mind can come up with all those filters are not there nothing is there that you can call as yourself <clears throat> nothing like that is there so the subject goes missing if subject is not there then who is looking at who is looking nobody there's nobody to look at the tree or the child or your or the beloved nobody is look at there to look at that means if nothing is being looked at by anyone then that thing also does not exist the object also loses its boundary because the subject has lost all its boundaries as the subject is so widely awake and conscious that subject has lost all the boundaries so the tree is within the tree that is being looked at is within and that process of looking and seeing is not there at all because process any relationship needs two two things two people right so subject when subject and objects are not there the process is not happening so that is the state of being and you are just being everything is all inclusive and is all within you the seer the seen and the sight or the process of seeing is all merged they are not three anymore it's all one subject and object are not two anymore they're all one it's all one there's no tree to look at because there is nobody to look at the tree you might have 
this doesn't happen only in meditation if it happens when you are somewhere if somebody is in extremely deeply in love with someone and when they look at their beloved they lose themselves they are not there and when they are not there that time the beloved is also not there because nobody is there to call it a call him or her a beloved so that beloved does not exist what exists is just that emotion just that thing of love that's just that state of love the difference between love and emotion is also like that De- love and devotion is also like that <clears throat> love needs an object devotion is love without an object we often refer to this these things like when we say consciousness without an object just the consciousness exists there is no subject there is no object and there is no relationship to tie between create a relationship and to tie these two together in one particular time and space so at times there comes a time when you know there's no time and space you suddenly are out of time when you look into the eyes of your beloved or when you see a really beautiful flower or you look at the tree or you look at a magnificent mountain you are not there in those moments all your boundaries are dissolved the you as consciousness exist and it is it is merged at that time it is merged with the consciousness of that flower or that mountain or that beloved or whatever and because it is all one because it is all just consciousness and nothing else there's no need of relationship so that entire duality is suddenly gone is not there so the height of meditation deep really deep meditation takes you to such a states where these things do not exist this kind of duality and the relationship between the two does not exist and that is the state of being a being is just being into its own it's just own moment it's a speechless you cannot describe a tree at that time how is it looking like <clears throat> how magnificent it is you are you cannot describe it you cannot describe those moments when you looked into the eyes of your beloved and how you felt and you looked deeply you cannot can cannot describe a flower and its beauty if you were just a being you cannot describe anything else because you are merged the entire creation is merged within you there's no way no way to describe it in order to describe something you need to have a distance and that distance is created that separation is created when you think of yourself as a subject think of the other thing as an object which you have to describe in then only you can describe something like that separation has to exist in order to describe the creation describe anything separation has to be lived in order to see things from outside it is the same thing like how a fish might be living inside the ocean and never knowing where the ocean is a fish will never know what ocean is in order to know what ocean is fish has to come out right fish has to be on the shore in order to know okay so this is how ocean looks like there is sand on the shore this is this side of the boundary of ocean and the other side of the ocean is just meeting with the horizon all these kind of descriptions can happen when separation separation has to exist in order to be able to describe an ocean like that but once you start living as a being there is no description that can come out fish cannot describe the ocean because fish never went out of the ocean the moment fish went out of the ocean it was dead 
wasn't alive to make that description to let that description happen so separation is killing separation is painful to live in that separation is is a painful experience it's a, yeah beauty can be described everything can be described but hu- human beings take it a little further away a little take it little deeper into their heart that separation so in reality there is no separation it's all consciousness and it's all merged within you it's the sight and the seer and the process of seeing and the seen all are one it's all one there is no way to come up with uh, any separation and now the moments lived in this beingness as a being are truly the moment that are lived because you there are no words to describe it but it's just it is just just is that is how it is it just is cannot be described it has to be lived it has to become a direct experience in you and the joy and the bliss i cannot say now that i feel joyful or i feel blissful because then bliss has to be something else and i have to be uh, feeling the bliss and the se- separation has to be there and the feeling of bliss can only happen when there are two but i am the bliss i am the joy that just is <laughs>